The great thing about uh, animation is that we can take you anywhere you want to go or anywhere we want to go. We can do anything that we want. Must I be told that I am beautiful to be? You may think this film resembles a Disney feature, and actually there's good reason for that. This animated short entitled Pete's Odyssey was written and directed by a former Disney animator but was drawn, colored, and animated by high school and college students here in New Jersey. This is the scene where she pops into the and looks into the puddle. Mm -hmm. and I was thinking that might look really good if we put a puddle effect. Writer-director Larry Luria and producer-editor Charlotte Renderconnect decided to make Pete's Odyssey using only student animators in what they call an incubator project. It's amazing when you see the work and you see the film. It's kind of cool. It's, it's, I think it's one of the best projects, I've, maybe the best project I've ever been involved in. We're not looking at this as a student project. This is a professional project that they're working on and that they were going to gain professional skills by working on the project. Through a connection with Vinnie Petuto, the animation instructor at both Bloomfield College and Cicely Tyson High School in East Orange, Larry set up shop and worked side by side with these students. Many years ago, I took a workshop with Larry Loria, one day workshop, so I was well aware who he was. A uh, very legendary animator, and it was very scary at first, to be honest with you, because I teach the basics of animation for high school and college, where my kid's ready to go to do a professional animation project that they were talking about. And uh, they did. I was very proud of them. They did it. What will be the lighting for this? Well, this is, this is afternoon, so afternoon. It's, it's kind of yeah, strong afternoon lighting and the light's coming down from here. Okay. The whole process took about three months and it was a very intense process because you have to take the storyboard, make it into layouts, color it, and then you work from there. But it needs to just let back and forth with the producer and the director and the artists. As Larry drew the keyframes, the students did all the rest, making this five-minute story about a female bird named Pete come to life. We take the uh, drawings, the animations that we drew, or, you know, the animation director drew, and we scan them, and then we place them in digitally on the computer, and then color them in from there. It was crazy, because I've never, ever done anything like this. I'm a visual arts major. So we do like the painting and the drawing. I never actually worked with all the technology and the, co the computers and drawing and stuff. So that was, that was a whole lot of fun. I've always thought about it, but being able to actually do it was great. This is the storyboard for Pete's Odyssey and it's broken up into lots of different sequences. We have the opening sequence here. We have a sequence where Pete is flying around. This is a dream sequence where she faces her fears right here. And you can see all these panels are like a comic book, but they're actually the template for the film. The idea for the film was actually based on a song called Unafraid to Find, written by Michelle Armstrong, an up and coming singer songwriter. father-in-law so he was familiar with my music and Larry and Char um, listened to a lot of my songs and chose a song that they thought would inspire the project and be appropriate for it. It's beautiful to see the character develop of Pete and bring the story to life through the song. When you think about Unafraid to Find it's, it's about gaining courage, it's about um, stepping outside of our comfort zone, it's about finding the inner beauty that um, is within each of us that strength. Even above animation, you know, I think we're teaching them to be successful. And that's really important, you know, really important that, and it's not just everyone at the soccer game gets a trophy, you know, they can look on the screen and see what they did. It's, it's, it's really pretty cool. And they're a great bunch of kids. It's, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. There's an overwhelming feeling of confidence 
that these students can actually do something like this. And now they really have an idea of what they want and they know how to go for it. When we first started it, it was like debatable because I was like, ah, this doesn't look right. But once like all the, uh, the images were put together and we seen the rough cut, then it was like, wow, this is starting to come alive. So when they showed us the final version, I was like, wow, this is, I'm so glad I was involved with this because it's like an amazing experience. I really enjoyed how we all bonded. Larry, Lynn, Charlotte, myself, and the kids, the high school and the college kids, we bonded and we did something special. We know how good this project was. And they may never have that opportunity again, but we will, we will. I will begin, oh.